Good morning. Good morning. So, good morning, good morning, good morning. <coughs> oh, sorry. I have a bunch of canvases. This one I did this designing with a stencil a while ago. Don't know why I didn't finish it. I have these half ones that uh, they were bigger and it's got my husband cut them in half for me. So I have them all sit here just so, so they're ready when I want to use them. There's still a little wet spots on some of those. This one I dried with my dryer. We're going to work on this one. Can't sleep. Actually, sorry. We're going to work on this one. I can't sleep. So I thought I'd get up and do something. So, so I can have it go this way or this way. I'm going to work. I could have scraped that off. I decided, you know what? I don't know what my plans were at one time for it. Must have changed my mind. Don't know. So eh, I did have different colors on it, like blue, green, red. I don't know. So I thought we would do some. Jane. Davenport. Except I forgot to grab water. I will be right back. Okay. Right. Oh, or gelatos, because I got tons of gelatos. So, or cookie gluten, which are like some crayons. Subtractions inside. Oh, okay. Let's see. Oil pastel crayons can be used wet or dry. Ooh, so let me mess with these. I've never tried it. So let's go for it. Let's go for it. See what I create. Yes. Ouch. Let me get a brush. What brush do I want to use? I'm gonna use this one. I haven't used it for a while. It's nice and stiff. Put a little water on it. Get a Okay. Get, get, okay. So we got like purple, like a pink, an orange, a pale yellow, like a deep burgundy, a red, an orange, and a yellow. So let's see. Good morning, B and D Crafts. How are you? I hope you're having a pleasant morning. So I'm just going to oh there's a deep red. I've never used these before, so we'll see what happens. I don't know if I should lay them all out at once or do a little one at a time. Um, let's uh, let me read that again. Let me do that little piece of paper. What is it? One other bite. Oh, I'm doing well. That's good. So these oil pastel crayons can be used wet or dry. A water base I'll use alone, alone or with Vicky Burton stencil pack. Okay. Okay, so you can actually use them together or with water. So, okay. So we're just going to... Okay. <laughs> 
I'm sorry, I do have a cold. Spread's going to be water. Kind of. That's all right. Get a different color when you blend them together. Kind of cool, I guess. But the difference the same colors down here is up here. Just how I blended them different. Move them to the run a little bit. Oh. The red's really bright. Turn on the yellow. See that red really picks up. Yellow not so much. I'm losing yellow. So I might have to go over that spot. I really don't like this, how this looks down here either. But we'll see. Maybe I should have did one color at a time. But you know what? I've never used them. So that so was a good day. I've been going through a lot of my craft stuff. Determined, hmm, let's try this. If I don't like it, I'll just gesso back over it. I'm not really liking it. I'll be honest with you. But another way also, yes, yeah, I'm not liking this. So I don't know if I like that. This is another game changer right here. Just do the fact it is water soluble. Bring the whole can this. Take it off. The best possible. Took a little bit of the just off on the corner. No major. Not worry about it. Just go like that. There we go. The fact, I didn't like them. I don't know. Uh, maybe they would work, work better on like watercolor papers or. Something else. Who knows? You never know. So I roughed off a little bit of the just on the corner. I'm not gonna worry about it. I'm just gonna lose it. I'm just going to leave it. You know what? I'm gonna use. 
smaller pants. I'm putting this big. This is cool chips. See, I reorganized my stuff this week. I came across looking for something actually. I did find it. So the reason I reorganized. I forget what you have until you reorganize it, tell you. So Good night. I like this back color. That's what I like about mixed media. If you don't like it, cover it. Start over. Oh. Oh, sorry. Oh, that's cold. Cold, cold, cold. <coughs> oh, sorry. Oh, this. Drink here. I like how it's got that kind of look. Well, that's a little pan. Put the side too. Get that side. Yep, that, 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 I like where some of the work we get it all off kind of peeks through. That's all right. I don't like that. I think.
just gonna tap the side. Okay. Don't look like much, does it? Now, very metallic key, very metallic key. Like much no, See, half the time I don't know what I'm going to be doing. Sometimes I end up with something I like, other times I don't like it at all. I've seen how things react with water or alcohol. And they get this cool different look sometimes. Damn. But you don't know what you'll get. And I just kind of let it go. That was just, that was alcohol I just used. Kind of moving the blue. Across the canvas. Oh, Sorry. Oh. 
Like I, said, I have a goal. I think it's all good. Think about Saturday. So. And I don't got Corona. Not that I'm going to go get tested, but I don't have a fever. So I don't have any signs of Corona or Corona, whatever you want to call it. Scott says I say it wrong. So <laughs> so I kind of got blues and greens going in there. And it looks cool. I got some of that leftover, some spot. <sighs> for one second. I'm back. Mm. <clears throat> My husband worked up, woke up to things like, I don't want to go to work. <laughs> I'm like, it's your last day for three days. All right, I'll go to work, he says. <laughs> But you know what? He says that to me like every morning. I don't want to work. I don't want to work. <laughs> Let's see. Where is it? Kind of funny. I want a color. Not aqua. You know what? I know exactly what I'm going to put on this. Because it's got that blue. I just want to add a little green. I gotta find the right green. What is this one? Uh, that's not green. No, no, no. Where is it? Oh, yeah, green. Oh. Ha! Found it. And I probably. I think I'm gonna go this way. Oh, instead, this is the one that didn't work. That's fine. Ooh, not that much. Not that much. Oh well. Just gonna. I really just want to get a little. I'm just gonna move the ink. I was gonna do it a certain way, but I really want the stencil to be shown. So I'm going to just do the spots. So, just a little bit. Hi, Sabrina. Good morning. How are you? <coughs> I 
<sighs> Getting Zach off to school and take it. How you put Sprina the mismatch crafter? Yeah, at the dentist. You, I don't like dentists. Me and de dentists have never had a good relationship. Okay, I think I got them all. Okay. So I added green ink to my stencil, but it's not going to be boom. He says the truth hurt. He says the truth hurt. So I came in and said, ooh, they're, and they are pulling it. Ooh, yeah, not fun, not fun. Yeah, well, I had four, 14 pulled one day, 11 pulled the next, and then the rest after that on. Yeah, my dad couldn't believe I got 14 or 15. I'd have to look. But it was like 14 teeth pulled in one day. And, yeah. Stopped to pick up my, my kids for the weekend, him and his girlfriend. And I didn't, my dad didn't know I was going to the dentist that day. So that turned out, I planned it that way. When he asked, his, when they asked to take the kids for the weekend, I'm like, good time to get my teeth pulled. And then his girlfriend felt sorry, sorry for me. She kept them an extra day or two. <laughs> I'm like, I'm fine. I got a high tolerance for pain. I pulled my own tooth one weekend when I couldn't get in and went to the emergency room and they wouldn't do anything for me and I was so much pain that I pulled my own tooth. My buddy Danny passed out after he found out what I did. Because I put a fishing line around it, tied it to the door handle of my apartment and told Danny to slam the door. And he listened. Not realizing what he was doing. My tooth came out and he realized what happened. Passed out cold. Mm. And when I went to the dentist on Monday, the dentist said I couldn't do a better job than he did. There was no root left in it. Nothing. All right. So we got a little bit of green in there. It's hard to see. There's blue and greens. <laughs> But once I'm done, it's going to look pretty cool. Because I have to find what I'm looking for. I didn't give them the hell. No, I just bought them. Where did I put them? Oh, right here. So I just bought these at the Dollar Tree. This is the mermaid stamps. Or stamp stickers. Oh, it stuck them here, but I'm not done. I need to... Oh. Hi, Candy. Hi, Tina. Hello. 
That's who B and D crafters is, Brian. I'm sorry, I feel so bad. Good morning. Good morning, Glor Gloria. Gloria! Just said it would, would come out by itself within two weeks, but it has hurt for two weeks. Ow. Tell me, eat an apple. <laughs> Koda's Q30, you know, he's six. No, seven. He's toothless for Christmas. Because I was saying, I'm all I want for Christmas is my two front teeth. And he's like, Nana. I laugh when my grandson is to the embarrassing age. He does that, Nana. But still loves his Nana. Whoa. Okay. Freaked me out there. Thought I was going to lose something. Okay. So, I want to make that color and um, this color. And, uh, yeah, but I, I was supposed to have cold on. This weekend? Yeah, I believe it was this weekend. But I told Diamond, due to the fact that I got a cold, it's not a good idea. I am even going out, out anywhere. Because I got a cold. I don't want him to get a cold, and then he gets sent home from school. So if you sniffle, sneeze wrong at school, they send you home. So... <coughs> How I got a cold is beyond me. I don't know how I got a cold. But I've always said my husband's a carrier. If I was going to get the Corona, it would be from Scott. He'd be the carrier. He'd bring it home because he's the one that works outside the home. I'm home 90% of the time. So I said, Scott, if I get it, it's because you brought it in the house. Bad. <laughs> It's a little too dark. I want it lighter. Mm -hmm. Hi, Vanessa. How are you? Hope all is well. Good morning. Good morning, ladies. Okay, now it looks a little better. We'll see how it looks. So, oh, no, let's see. Yeah, that looks pretty good, actually. Like a sandy bottom to me. Oh. At least in my opinion, it looks sandy. I think it's. I'm going to sit here for a bit and I'm going to add another coat on top. So, what is everybody doing today? It is Thursday the 14th. Crazy. We're halfway, almost halfway through this month. I'm good. Just sinus issues this morning. Yeah, I know that one. I'll do well. Sinuses, cold. I can feel my sinuses draining down the back of my throat. My biggest worry, worry is getting strep throat because then I'll have to go to the doctor. 
because usually I have a tendency to get throat throat. Okay, Robert, from what I cannot remember right now, highly recommended the modern acrylics from Target for jelly printing, so I ordered some this week. They are amazing and only $1.99 a bottle. You know what I use on my jelly print plating? Uh, I, every day, Dollar Tree paint. I love this. Matter of fact, I told my husband I have to go to Dollar Tree because I got to restock up with my paints. Garage for salt. Huh? Hmm? Tina, the garage with salt. Oh, yeah. Okay, gargled. Yeah, I have it. Yeah. Oh, I have a home remedy. I was the kid that got strep throat a lot. And I do my grandpa's. I start getting a sore throat. I'm in already boiling water. Paprika and salt. And I make a tea. Stir it up as it boils. Add a little lemon juice afterwards, and I gargle with that. I want to buy. Scott suggested, and he said he's going to go look at it this weekend. Because he was supposed to go get me. He's forgotten twice when he was out. Go get me some um, vitamin C. or out. I'm out. He wants to buy that thing, that vaporizer thing you put up to your nose. But I don't know if I can handle that. I don't like things over my face. I'm having a hell of a time with just wearing a mask when I'm out in public. That me having this thing that's blowing a mist up in your nose area. I don't know, but I told him I'd try it. <coughs> I think it's more my sinuses than a cold. But I am in Wisconsin. It is the cold season. I could have just got a cold going outside doing my res running my cans to the recycling. You just because I just slip on my house slippers. My house crocs I wear. Grab a, if I even think of putting a jacket on. Scott's like, you probably got a cold by not wearing a jacket last week when you ran out, but the recyclables out. That looks pretty good, actually. I've got some. Um, this is one of these canvases. I don't know what I was going to do with. I started it and it was canceled. Have you? The one I've seen it like on television commercials. It's a little info, but you can find it now at Walgreens and this store and that store. It got good reviews because I looked it up, so that's a good thing. I know that it I looked it up. All right. I'm going to drive this a little bit. And then, get my green. See, I'm almost out of my green. I my off to my sale this weekend. So, I'm going to go... I'm just going to kind of bring that up. Can you guys see that green line? I need a smoosh, 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 smoosh brush. There's a smoosh, smoosh brush. There's a smoosh, 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 smoosh,
I'll do another one about here. Smush, 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 Here, smush, 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 smush. But there, I'll do another smush, 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 smush. that much but I'll use it I am not liking this. See, it's not. I have something in my head, and it's not going. It's not working. I hate that when it happens. See this? I may not put these stickers on here. I'm not liking how it is looking. I just thought in my head. Slowly, I'm gonna put them down solid. Press it down. Mom. Tail ripped. That you looked odd. I guess that don't look too bad now that it's done. It's kind of kiddish. <coughs> I am. My granddaughter will like it. She's four. Everything's mermaid, mermaid, mermaid. Hmm. <coughs> 
Mama Mermaid. That's a weird sticker. This one's just this one says mermaid. I don't like it. Oh, it's a star though. Oh, it's part of that one. That's mermaid C. Yeah, I don't know. No. Ooh, it's a fish. I gotta see you guys. Does it look like a background of the sea? Let me know. Supposed to look like underneath the ocean. That's supposed to be like those greens coming through. It's for a four year old, so we'll put a picture there. I'm gonna put mermaid 3D though. Oh my god, my nose. I am sorry to hear me sniffling. I. Trying to get these little dimensional dots are a pain in the butt. It's not my best work. <laughs> Let's put it that way. <laughs> Raleigh will love it regardless. Kanana made it. Shit. And take it away to college with her someday. Let's see, I'm going to turn my hot glue on. Because I'll hot glue these down so they stay down permanently. Alright, get that on. Okay, Ooh, I got a crab. I thought this set was very pretty. That's why I picked it up. I don't usually buy uh, Dollar Tree stickers anymore, except I did buy ten dollars worth of um, Valentine stickers. Came home, get it, and got out my Valentine's tote, which I thought was a small one. So I thought, oh, I should pick up some stickers. I don't many stickers. Oh my god! I discovered I had stickers Valentine's up the yang, and I, I was like, wow. So I might take them back to Dollar Tree. An exchange. I didn't need Valentine stickers. I didn't need them. Didn't need them. I don't know what I was thinking. Problem was, I wasn't thinking. That's what the problem was. <laughs> I wish I had another fish. Oh my god, her tail came off too. Okay. Where the heck did that one come off of now? How did I rip her off? Oh, that's this one. Oh. Right? Yeah. Nope. This one. Where did I get this one? Oh, that's this one. That is this one. How the hell? Did it wrap right on the back side? I ripped off. Interesting. So I'll fix out a little glue here in a minute. Okay. Get off that. Oh my god, these stickers are driving me crazy. They do stick really well. <clears throat> oh man, I keep ripping stickers today. There we go. Time in. Are you done? You'll never know. Okay. Okay. Another seashell here. Let's 
tiny, tiny little retirement. Cool. All right. Mermaid C. Oh, God, I'm going right there. Mermaid. Nah, yeah, that does look odd. That one does look odd, you know? Another C. There we go. I wish I had some coral. Coral, coral, coral. Oh, hello, Kate. Hello, Vanessa. Hello, everyone. Hello, Candy. Hello, Kilburn. How are you? Hope you're having a good morning. I didn't even I didn't even turn on the news yesterday at all. Not one iota. Cause it was depressing me. I don't know if they impeached Trump or started that or nothing. Okay, let me put that right there. Six the little mermaid. Oh, I got a seashell. A baby seashell. Let's see, look at that right there. Just put going down. Decided to get out those strips. I like these better than those little dots. Oh. So, right there. Back off. I'm gonna add a little hot glue so it doesn't come off. And put it about right there. It looks like she's swimming up. And then I'm gonna take that one. Fix her tail that I ripped. Down. Right there. And, uh, mute for a second, real quick, guys. Oh, man. Sorry about that. 
Fix her tail. Oh, and get it off. There we go. Miss Mermaid's tail that I ripped. You'll never know it by the time I'm done with it. There, you'll never know. You'll never know. You'll never know. You'll never know. Still, not, I'm not muted, right? You guys can still hear me, right? <laughs> I have a tendency to not remember to unmute myself. So, in the comments, tell me you can hear me. Okay. And we're going to bring this one like about right there. Can we tell I busted her tail off, can you? <laughs> Here, little fish. There. And there. There and there. Not my best work. And my worst work either, so. Okay, fine. And this tiny, 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 tiny one. Just a smidgen, a smidgen. Are they tiny? Yeah, tiny, tiny, tiny. All right, boom. I'm gonna put that right there. All right, not that bad. Little cute in the room. I keep debating if I want to add like that, like coming off the top of it. Mermaid C. I like that actually coming off the top. What do you guys think of that? Oh, coming off the top. I found another fish. I have to cut him out. Cool, I found another fish. Cool. Uh, why did it have this made as a sticker is beyond me. Beyond me. So oh, I'm gonna cut first it cut that puppy out. We're gonna use him. We're going to use it. <clears throat> Make sure I got it swim in the right direction. Yep, there we go. So, we'll have mermaid mama left. That's it. I like how I have that sitting up there. I want this little fish. So, let's do that. And I'm just going to zip it around it. Plus, it cut here. 
like so. Okay. Healthy and clean ephemeral folder. Ah. What the hell? There we go. All right. This guy's fishing me up. His, eh, I don't like him now that I put him down. We'll pick that up. We'll pick that up. Okay. So what do you guys think of that one, like, hanging off the side? Oop. Get out of there. With his tail going mermaid sea. And it's, like, his body's coming out of the sea. Making grab eggs for for tonight. What's tonight? You're having a sale? Oh yeah, I read that. Duh. How much are the grab bags? Like I, I love grab bags. Did you guys have Ben Franklin's where you lived? Or yeah, Ben Franklin. Was it a Ben Franklin? I don't remember. So old. Yeah, Ben Franklin. It was Ben Franklin. Man, I can't remember. All I know is it's a store where I grew up. My little girl. You go in there and they'd have grab bags. What time's your sale today? It's me and the elves have that uh, chat and craft where I'm teaching uh, how to do clusters. Oh, five. We should be done by five. Okay, cool. But to this day, I love buying graphics. Sometimes I do, and I wonder why I bought them. Because I, I can't use anything in it or, you know. But I still, it's like an addiction. Gotta buy that grab bag. You know what I mean? I just basically bought a grab bag from Defy. This past weekend. Okay. I got to find me just a little piece of white paper, scrap paper, which I usually have over here. Oh, I got a, her tail's got the sticky background on it, so I'm just going to go like that, even it, and bring it up. So let's bring his tail over just a bit back. I don't want to get... Oh. There we go. Okay. Get over there. Oh, I cut this out. I can't find my blue hole scissors. Oh, there they are. I like these little pink scissors. Sky, but oh God, them oh, poor me. These aren't the Dollar Tree ones. I don't know where he found them. They're nice, but the, the holes. For your, you have fat fingers. They don't work. And then stuff has got me. Oh. They are the same. They are the same ones. Oh, okay. Man, I got three pairs of those. I do. Okay. So I must have bought one. I don't know. Oh, I bet you they, he said he found them laying in the hallway. I bet you they were out of my sewing kit. I probably had a set in my sewing kit. That's probably why. I thought he 
<coughs> this guy handed me him the other day. I thought, oh, I figured he raided him. So I was going to him in the hallway. So I was like, what? So I bet you. When I think about it, I had my sewing stuff out last week. I bet you they fell out of my sewing bucket. <coughs> Before I, I put this on, I got to do something on the edge because I want to do something. Oh. Plus, I gotta do something else I wanna do. Okay. <clears throat> Damn it. Okay. Now I got to see how I did half that because half would be sticking off the canvas. Alright. Before I do anything else to this, I gotta do something on the edge real quick. Oh. Hi, Tina. Good morning. Good morning. Lately on the side. When I'm blacking it. So I, was, well, I went and tried to go to bed, but I came up with a cool mix up media idea that I gotta, I want to do on my channel. I gotta go buy the stuff to do it, and it's not, it's not gonna be that expensive to do either. So I had to get up and write it down before I forgot, and then I'm awake again. I never even fell asleep actually, but I knew if I didn't get up and write it down, I'd forget. There we go. I may put the black on it. Yeah. Elsa's is having hers tomorrow. Noon. Her time, which is Pacific Standard Time. Friday. Noon-ish. Okay. Being lost. Oh, yeah. Hang on. Be my sale. Friday. I can't spell. 15th. 15th at. Hang on. Let me get my calendar so I get the time right. Time's confusing to me. I'm mid in Midwest. Oh, hang on. So, noon Pacific Standard Time. Noon PST, so that'd be 2 o'clock Central. Right? Yeah. P 
T-S-T. Flea market sale. Noon market sale. Saturday. Saturday at noon. T-S-T. Remember the two sales on BMS this weekend. Good morning, Therese. Yeah. Okay. It's gotta be about eight o'clock by the time. If I don't go to bed. Yep. I was gonna say, about eight o'clock, I start getting tired. But I got not too much left on this anyway, so. There we go. Now, hoping I do this right. I'm hoping I do this right. Let's see. Oh, oh. Oh, 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 oh. oh, my God. I mean, I mean, oh, I got it. Damn. Yeah. Christine. 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 Okay, I gotta find my beauty, beauty, beauty. There it is. Oh, God. Um, I'll put it like that. I'll put it right here, too. So it looks like. Oh, let's just wreck these. Blend them in. Start over. Yep. Good night, Christine. I will. Have a good day. Uh, I will. I'm going to take some alcohol seltzer and then see if that helps me fall asleep. Because you know what? It's, it's coughing. I lay down and start coughing. Now we're just going to Kind of blend a little bit. They're supposed to be bubbles. I don't know if they look like bubbles or not, but they're supposed to be bubbles. Yeah. I think I made them too blue. So I gotta get them. I put my weight away and I wasn't done with my weight anyways. Duh.
There we go. Okay, now let's see. I'm gonna clean this brush. I have a cold, so every time I go lay down, I start a cough, and, and I can't, I know, can't fall asleep. And I'm a stubborn; I don't like take a medication if it's even over the counter. So I have that problem as well. I could be done death door before I'll go to a damn doctor. I made those bubbles and you can't even see them after I decided to splatter. <laughs> I would, did all that for nothing. <laughs> um no did you message me yeah i said hello to you earlier tina are you when you came in i said hello tina you didn't hear me i'm sorry all right guys <laughs> the granddaughter will like it not my best work, but I ain't my worst either. <laughs> it's been in one of those weeks. I haven't felt good, and I haven't slept. And then when I did, I took alka seltzer yesterday, or the yeah, last yesterday morning. I don't remember. I slept eight hours. Yeah. But today I can't do that because I have Bima's craft and chat. So I ha I set an alarm on my phone. I already did that. There we go. That's kind of me. It's not my best. Riley will like it. Riley, the granddaughter, loves mermaids. So regardless, she'll like it. Mm -hmm. Let's go right here. Clean it up. If you saw the beginning of this, move this live, you'd laugh because I had a whole different concept in my head and I didn't like how it was turning off. So I took it off and restarted it. And. I put this blue on it, and for some reason, the blue reminded me from like under the sea, which actually isn't blue. It's actually like a green tinge. And I remember these Dollar Tree stickers I bought. And wow, I think one of the things I'm going to save my money for, and I don't think I'll buy another Tim Holtz one. Uh, just go buy me a piece of a decent glass. There we go. Clear, too. Good old glass shop. Buy me a piece of clear glass. There's so many scratches on my mat. Like I said, Alice is like, maybe you can come on and do mixed media. I can't do mixed 
Mediola um, to teach mixed media. I can kind of show you what I do, but I can't say step by step. What is what's the stickers? The mermaids, all the mermaids, all this down here is a sticker sheet I bought at the Dollar Tree. <clears throat> the only one I didn't use was this one. It says Mama Mermaid. It says Mama Mermaid on it. Could stop the tail coming like that. Like I did the last one, a tiny one. Cut it off and just use the tail. You just got this. It's nice, but it scratches very easily just to let you know. I'm going to do that. Just so you are aware, I got so many scratches on mine. Get rid of that stick off. We're going to stick this one coming out right there. That's cool. I got two hold stuff I don't even need. It sits here. I got a lot of metal to me bolts. I should just destash it. I got two things hanging up with Tim Holtz. That's been sitting there for almost two years. A year and a half. I never use them. It's crazy. Ooh, hot, hot tamale. There we go. There. I just little there. The other one stick it up. There we go. <laughs> yeah. They, they are ultimate. Um, they are coming out with some cool stickers at Dollar Tree. These are the last hobby three months or four months maybe about I just bought this one last week two weeks ago with the mermaids I thought I liked the color combo well, that was one I got like two weeks ago looks like that and then I got this one look how many I got of them I wanted, the, I wanted the trucks and I forgot because I was going to do a Christmas ornament with this red with the blue one and I forgot and now I was sitting there going through my stickers organizing them the other day look how many I bought of them got one there two three four five six I used one then there's this one I picked up a while ago these are very probably in the last four months five months <laughs> then I went crazy on Valentine's stickers. I didn't need Valentine's stickers, but I did. I bought them. I bought them. And these are from a while ago. The metallics. You can tell they changed. This is a while ago because look at the label. And then these. This is a. This one reminds me of Tim Holtz. You went from jolt to craft a square. <laughs> Oh, I know. You walk in there, you. It's like when I walked in there. I mean, look at guys. You want to see? This is embarrassing. So, 
Here we go. I, with the Dollar Tree, and walked in and walked out with Valentine's Day stamps or stickers. Got home, and I was okay. This is where it started. I have containers, Rubbermaids, where I put all my holidays in, and I mistook my one Rubbermaid as my Valentine's Rubbermaid, so I didn't think there was a lot in it. Then when I opened it, when I got home, it was my fall Rubbermaid. My big one that was sitting up on the shelf was in Valentine's Day. One. But, so, I didn't eat them. I'll show you. I have that one from a couple years ago. Little shakers, which they have this year. I have half of that one. I have half of this one, half of that one. I have buttons. More buttons. I have this one yet. I have this one yet. I have this one yet. And here's what I bought. That's nothing. How about this one? Can you guys see that? Yeah. How about this one? Last week, two weeks ago. How about this one two weeks ago? That one two weeks ago? No. Did I buy that two weeks ago? I'm not positive. This one is from last year or the year before. Because there's missing. Oh, no. This one I bought this year. I don't think I bought the cat one this year. I know this one's this year. Yep. This is last year's. The cat. This from last year. Because I could tell by the top. See the top? You can always tell because they ch change the top. So this one is from this year. These are from probably last year. See the difference in the top? Nope. That's this year. This year, this year, this year, this year, this year. I bought this because I wanted the envelopes. <laughs> this year. And I ended up with two of them. But wait. So them are all practically new, right? I ain't done. Oh, and there's this from this year. I have that from last year. You think I like Valentine's? I have them. And that. And them. And that. And that one. And roses. I have these. Pass and it says you're cute. I have candy box. Some more hearts. I have this one. And that one. The envelopes. This. Candy box. Wine and Roses, Sweet Boutique, Be Mine, Love, More Animals, Be My Valentine, oh and I picked these up, this two weeks ago, the Wooden Hearts, which I didn't need Wooden Hearts for, and then Scratch a sniff. There's more missing off of that one. More off of that one. And that. That's just the, some of the stickers. Because I have all these. Also. And I have a few books that are in the bottom. Yeah. That's not including these sheets. Yeah.
I know I bought like ten dollars worth of Valentine stickers, and I didn't need need to. I was gonna take them back because you can exchange them, but then I'm like, yeah, what the hell? I got them bought. Stick them in. Did I stick them in this thing? I got. I think I got these at Target. Those little belt envelopes one year. I just stick them in there for storage. But I know next year I won't be buying any. I need to do some pocket letters because. When I did pocket letters, I used my stickers more. I don't know what I was thinking. Well, I, was, I wasn't thinking. <laughs> That's what it was. I remember coming home and then when I discovered I was, I was oh my God, Tino Louise, you should be smacked. What's going that rabbit hole? You have none for Valentine's Day? Really? What? <laughs> oh, I'm crazy. I'm a sucker for hearts. Yeah, you can use hearts all year long, though, too. Because Valentine is one of the bins I put at the top. Because now Christmas is at the bottom. And then it's Christmas, Halloween, Valentine's Day, St. Patrick's Day, Easter. And uh, I had to haul out my Christmas twice because I... Um, Discovered stuff when I was, um, tidying up my craft room, felt more Christmas stuff for God to put away, so I had to take my Halloween down, put in my Valentine, or my, open a Christmas one, shove some stuff in it. I saw my Christmas tree up, guys. It's not decorated, but it's up. <laughs> <sighs> Because I have to buy some rubber maids, and I was going to do that Monday, but I didn't feel good. So uh, I didn't go out. And uh, till Scott, I'm going to have to suck it up because I'm sick of looking at a Christmas tree. Yeah. <laughs> till Scott, I had told Scott, I said, I think I'm going to leave the tree up here. Your, all year long. And he looked at me and goes, what? I'm like, yeah, I like it. I think it was pretty. He goes, can we at least move it in the corner of the living room and not in front of the bay window? I'm like, oh, I guess I'll take it down. <laughs> <coughs> but when I started doing it, see, I had Christmas in rubber mains and I had Christmas in cardboard boxes. I put, I picked up some rubber maids and I didn't have enough. So I'm picking up three more rubber maids. Because I have a fall rubber main, I need to put stuff in instead. I want to put everything in a rubber main. My basement has my holiday stuff has been shoved up on stuff when me and Scott last spring lost power for three days. And our basement flooded. So we got downstairs with flashlights and lanterns and we're just shoving stuff up, okay? To get it off the floor. Well, I could go downstairs. I didn't do laundry. Down, uh, I couldn't do laundry for weeks. So I'm allergic to mold. And you could smell that down there. Scott had to go down there and bleach the floors. So he moved stuff around. And, uh, or not a, he didn't use bleach. He used ammonia. I think he used. Well, he cleaned the basement. He had to rip out carpet out of the basement. Because I I had I ended up in a, almost close to having an asthma attack. And ended up in an emergency room. Because... I couldn't find my inhaler. And um, I'd go downstairs, do laundry, and I just couldn't handle it. So he ripped out the carpet in my old craft room downstairs. Had to rip it up. And then he started at one end of the basement, and he mopped the floor. And he, had, he just kind of moved stuff. So when I went down there this Christmas... 
I had to go th look here and there, and I'm like, where is this? And, oh, my basement's a disaster. That's his zone. I have one section. And him and I said this spring we're going to get down there. And I'm starting with the holiday, picking up three rubber mates probably tomorrow when he takes me to Walmart. And then um, in a couple of weeks, I'll buy a couple more rubber maids, start adding like my other holidays, like my Halloween, my e Easter. Well, Easter, I'll wait till I do Easter. I don't decorate too much for Easter. Hollow I Probably the main holidays I decorate is for Easter or not Easter, Halloween and Christmas. But I do have an Easter village that was my mom's. It's in a cardboard box. I don't want to put that in a rubber made. I don't want to get rid of it because it was my mama's. But I think I'll put it up this year. So then I have to, and when I go to pack it, I'll pack it in nice rubber maids. And Scott said next, this spring, he wants to build me a shelving unit and all my rubber mates will slide in it and then they'll stack on the shelf on one wall. But he wants to make them so they're removable because we'll be building them that we can take them when we move, if and when we move. And I have a lot of Christmas. I think Christmas is the most one I have. Yeah, so in the spring we're cleaning the basement. Because right now, it looks like Tornado Alley down there. Because I go, the neatest part right now in that basement is where I've been casually going through my stuff. And I told my kids, I'm not hanging on to your stuff anymore. Because I'm like, oh yeah, I want it, but can you hang on to it? Nope, you both got homes now. Come and get it. <laughs> Well, this, I've never had a theme for Christmas. It was like little kid ornaments that, you know, it was just a Mod Podge of Christmas. This, the last couple of years, I've built my own up Christmas. Like someday, I want to put up my mom's crystal ornaments. I'm going to do it next year. I told Scott next year, I'm going to put up the Chris, my smaller Christmas tree. And I'm going to put all my mom's crystal on it. And I've never had any of that up. It's in a rubber match. She gave me that probably two years before she passed away. My cats. I didn't want to put it up because of my cats. And I watched my cat this year. She never pawed at the my tree. She'd lay under it, but she never tried to climb it. So I'm like, maybe I could put my crystals up. I really would like to put my crystals, crystal, my mom's crystals up on a Christmas tree. And now I have two Christmas trees. Because I gave Diamond the big six feet. Oh, man, this tree she bought, she gave me one year. I'm like, take your tree back. That thing is a monster. Because she was going to go buy one. I'm like, take yours down in the basement. This thing was six feet tall or seven feet tall. And I bet you six feet wide. It was huge. I didn't want a huge one. So I bought one this year. There's pictures of my new tree on my channel. And if you go back, you look at year before I did the small one and then the year before that was diamond's tree. It was huge. I didn't like it. It was too big to me. <coughs> when I got that little four foot one and next year I'm going to put crystals on it. I'm going to put it in the middle of my kitchen table. We never eat at our kitchen table. Scott and I eat in the living room on TV tricks. Because he comes in he catches up to his programs and we eat dinner. Cause, you know, he's, I feel like my, sometimes my husband is like coming and going. Goes home from work, eats, goes to bed. Or he's getting up, eats and goes to work. When it's 12, 12 hour shows. And then when he is, and usually it's, we don't do big full meals on those days. Cause he can't eat when he gets up right away. So usually it's just a little something. Like tonight, I'll have a nice dinner. And, yeah, I asked him what he wanted. He wanted mashed potatoes and whatever. So I took out uh, pork chops. So it'll be pork chops, mashed potatoes, and green beans. Usually when he's off, I 
cook bigger meals. But I think I'm gonna get off here. And it turned out that half too bad. Kind of Riley will like that. It's for my granddaughter. Not my best work. But I ain't my worst either. I'll go take some Elko Seltzer. And I'm gonna go try to get some sleep. And today on Bemo's Crafty Corner. I will be doing clusters. And that is at, hang on, 2 o'clock Central Standard Time. I know that. Because I keep getting it in my head. All right. Noon Crafter Chat on Be Much Channels. And I will be doing clusters. And that is at noon Pacific Standard Time, 2 o'clock Central Standard Time, 3 o'clock Eastern, and 1 o'clock Mountain. So look forward to that. I'm going to be showing you how I do clusters. Which are really easy, guys. And if you want to do them with me, get a little material, get some buttons, get your glue gun ready, get little odds and ends. It's all you need. Odds and ends. Here's an example. Cluster. Whoops. Right there's an example. I'm going to show you how to do this. I'm going to show you a couple different ways, though. So, if you want to do it along with me, get the, you know, material, buttons, little, whatever you have, little things, just tiny, just miscellaneous ephemera that you're like, what am I going to do with this little piece of ephemera? Get it. So, I will talk to you all later. I hope you have a good Thursday, and I will see you this afternoon. Bye, everybody, and have a good rest of the day. I'm going to go take some Uncle Cesar and go to sleep for a while. Bye, everybody, and thanks for watching. Thanks for six, six thumbs up. I greatly appreciate it. Bye, everybody. Be happy, be kind, be safe, be funny, be crafty, and bye for now.